Welcome to the inaugural episode for Experienced Focused Leaders podcast. I am not your host, but I get the the privilege of introducing and I get to interview the regular host of this show, Alex Shevalenko. You are the founder and CEO of Relay2, found on the web at relay2.com. Alex, congratulations on the new podcast. Thank you. I'm excited. Well, I'm excited for this show and uh, simply because um, I think we're going to be able to feature experts and leaders who are leading in the field of, of connecting with audiences in ways that I think are going to inspire a lot of great ideas and activities for our friend that's listening to our conversation right now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think, you know, what both at Relate To and at the podcast, what we really are fundamentally excited about is bringing the most important ideas of our time to life. Right. And podcast is going to be one of the mediums and YouTube component of it is going to be more visual. But fundamentally, what we see is that some of the best and most valuable and most important ideas are typically communicated in the worst of possible ways. And some of the most, you know, junky ideas are communicated in a very sophisticated way. So we want to balance out uh, for the benefit of our organizations, our careers, you know, frankly, our society and our audiences, we want to balance that out and we want to make the valuable content easy to digest, easy to experience in a way that moves you forward in making decisions. And I think the, the purpose of this podcast is to bring people that have, do this in practice, people that are thought leaders, people that are uh, doing research in interesting areas around this. So we're just really fired up of kind of having a melange of tactics and ideas and experiences to help achieve this underlying mission of bringing the most important ideas of our time to life. Well, with Relay2, you have a, a really amazing network of folks that you get to work with. And, um, you know, obviously, one of the types of leaders that you work with frequently, again, is this, what you term an experience Focus leader. Could could you explain what that means? Absolutely. So I I think um, historically people when people think experiences they think something in marketing only right like sort of experiences around events and things like that. But what we really are focusing on is uh, people that create whether they're digital or content driven experiences or physical experiences the types of um, environments where um, important things get done. And so the, those leaders could be leader of an organization that's focused on motivating and engaging their employee base. It could be a leader of communications function in that same organization that you know, needs to get um, you know, internal strategy rolled out in an engaging way, employees motivated in remote environments, and you know, publish ESG and investor communications in a compelling way. And of course, the bread and the butter of the like innovation in this area has been in the marketing and sales, where there's so yeah. much at stake, right? And so we do uh, see uh, you know chief executives that are focused on those functions and CMOs and CROs um, that are looking to get an edge to their organization, right, and to stand out in the noisy marketplace. So those are the people that you know focus on what can they do through experience versus through spamming versus through brute force um, because that's not working anymore. And I think, you know, creating something that stands out and connects uh, and is memorable is sort of the answer to bypass this kind of overwhelming cacophony of noise that we are bombarded with on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, I think again, experience focused leaders are going to be very cognizant of consumer behavior. When I say consumer, I speak generally, you know, basically who are you looking to engage with? And if you are behind in terms of what where consumers' brains are, you're yeah. at a major disadvantage. Your sales teams are having to work twice as hard. You're probably closing way fewer deals. Your sales cycles, I mean, I'm just thinking about the sales and marketing side of this, you know, yeah. for focused on revenue and growth and yeah. that sort of thing. Like you got to get this stuff dialed in and understand that people don't buy the same way that they bought even five years ago. Exactly. And this is sort of what that was back to our lessons from Relay to. Like related, we looked at the what's going on in the B two B communication space, and like, you know, the default de facto standards of content 
was this thing called the PDF, which was invented before, you know, before World Wide Web, effectively. And so we said, well, what can we, or PowerPoint, like before World Wide Web. So what we asked is, well, what if you take those tools that we know how to use and create experiences with them? And that sort of, that was the genesis for how we started talking to all the great the greats in creating experiences and that kind of create value for the end user, right? And they start with the consumer, with the buyer, and with your audience. And how do you get them um, to do the things that they want to do, right? Like you can't force, uh, you know, you can't force people into buying. They can just choose to buy, but you can't force it. And so that's sort of the fundamental premise. And uh, we we are very fortunate to work with companies that in B two B world that have consumerized. Uh, B2B, right? Like uh, Salesforce, great example, Disneyland for B2B companies and we <laughs> learn from them. And um, faculty from the Wharton School that invest, invented the term customer lifetime value. That's Peter Fader, um, you know, an advisor, investor, a customer of ours. And, you know, we love, you know, taking what we've learned from, from great brands and uh, great thought leaders in the space and applying it in a way that helps anybody succeed. Yeah. And this podcast is all about that same philosophy. Yeah. So I suspect that there's folks that are listening to our conversation right now that probably <clears throat> know someone that uh, is innovating or not just innovating, like they have taken action and they have stories from the trenches of running experiments and because their values are focused on that experience right and 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 truly trying to be um not just empathic but but you know just mindful of everything like they've, they've got their customer persona dialed in they know how their customer learns they know the point pain points and they anticipate where the journey in the buyer's case is going to be and again I, I seem to be focusing on sales and marketing i know that relay to uh, offer solutions just beyond sales and marketing but um you know what i want to get to with my question here is you know someone that's listening right now probably knows someone that deserves to be celebrated and recognized on this podcast would you mind maybe talking about the the character traits of the personality or the leadership style or maybe some of the things that you know our friend might know and say oh boy you know it would be perfect to be featured and celebrated on this podcast would be so and so um how would how would you uh describe that that perfect guest for you well i i think what we found you, you brought up marketing and sales so we love uh, for example marketers that really care about the impact of their creativity right so so i think so in terms of revenue for example so the types of marketers that are measuring themselves not against kind of site visits only but against um uh you know leads and pipeline you know that is successful and is actually becoming customers or successful customers that sort of is one dimension on the kind of the types of marketers and creatives that really care about outcomes versus just the output, right? Mm -hmm. And if you think historically, most of the content creation uh, or create like has been about output and hoping the outcomes is great, right? But we are very much reversing that equation uh, with data driven design. So it's sort of people that care can combine creativity and content with. Um, the impact of that. That's one broad topic. Another one is obviously people that um, uh, see and care about their brand, right? Like if they if they're in a noisy market or if their brand is really important and they are they have large um, impact that they can do have for that, and then they're showing up with a thirty year old format that's not new, that's not fresh, um, or or they're looking you know if beyond in general, they're just looking for fresh ideas. Uh, always and have been innovating in that. Those are the type of people on this podcast that could, you know, help our audience, you know, take take their ideas, their experiences, and apply them in in the um, in their work. And then the, lastly, I would say um, people that are intellectually curious. I think this sort of it, it, it's it come. You know, we are very multidisciplinary in our approach, right? Like we're we're working. On this podcast, we we are not just talking about you know very niche marketing demand generation tactics. We're talking about broader you know how do you create a holistic uh, experience for your key stakeholders, be they your company, your partners, your customers, um, and future customers. And so 
that is a as a holistic holistic mindset people that like to connect the dots you know and you know if you want to know who inspires us you know we have a you know our creative advisor worked for 15 years reported to steve jobs at apple yes. right like so we kind of take inspiration from folks like that we have folks that are that are very data driven or breaking data science to the world of, of, of b2b and to um to you know cut deep deep cut level customer engagement and obviously um digital innovators so people that are that are kind of have uh already compelling digital strategies and you know ambitions they want to they are um you know trying to create digital transformation for their organization but are finding that they're not congruent all the times and they're looking to find like what are the better ways to be more and more congruent and innovative in that space and sort of yeah. communicate digital transformation using digital tools as an example right like so those are the people that catch and feel motivated to bring their a game and creating experiences whether they're hybrid or, or or digital first and you know we tend to speak the same language with these people yeah so uh again to our friend that's listening here's what you do um just send the link uh, uh to alex your company's website that's relay com. r-e-l-a-y-t-o.com click on the podcast link and, and then you'll see a spot where uh it's guests click here actively looking for guests just click on that button and then they can go ahead and apply and schedule right on that page um so if you want to do a formally introduction you're welcome to otherwise you could just send them directly to relay to uh and they can click and, and get applied because we would love to learn from them uh and and alex i'm speaking of which you know we kind of touch on this just a little bit but um what is relay to uh, so relate to is a web application that takes your static content like PDFs and presentations and videos and turns it into interactive microsites in a few clicks and you know off you go with a more engaging you know web friendly mobile friendly experience that's measurable and if you want you could turn it into a masterpiece of you know with that really has a much richer and deeper interactive toolkit has you know call to actions that drive that behavioral change that we we're talking about. So fundamentally, um, take a you know out content output and turn it into business outcomes. Depending on your our role in the organizations, it could be things that drive pipeline and win rates, or it could be things that um, if you're if you're really engaging audience, it sort of drives the time they spent engaging was what you have to share was your, your ideas and you know how persuaded they are by your communications so it's sort of the super weapon for for an, for everybody we're trying to democratize um uh interactive content the same way tools like Canva democratize this graphic design or figma democratize uh maybe inter you know, product design we're trying to democratize the b2b the substantive content that people share so uh, Alex Shevalenko, in addition to being the host of Experience Focused Leaders, uh, of course, you're the founder CEO of Relay2. Um, you have a pretty, like, you're a good person to know. <laughs> is, is a good way of saying that. Uh, you're, you're pretty well connected. Of course, Relay2 to, Relay to, um, has some pretty high uh, authority clients, users, and you have a lot of advocates out there in the world. Uh, I guess if I were to, you know, kind of give you 30 to 45 seconds to kind of talk about uh, why you would be a valuable connection for folks uh, and why, uh, you know, again, they should kind of plug in with you. Do, do you mind just kind of, I'm giving you the space here to brag on yourself for just a little oh, bit. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll brag that, you know, we just happen to be working with amazing uh, customers. Uh, and these are, you know, we can't name all the names, but think of, you know, flagship um, uh, our clients and in industries with lots of substantive content, whether it's, you know, B2B uh, technology and enterprise technology, professional services, uh, financial and insurance services, and so on. And um, we've learned from them and we just, we built a product together with them. So I think what we're doing is we're applying the best practices from them. The second thing is these customers have won a bunch of awards, like a content marketing awards, uh, digital awards. Uh, and so that's really interesting that they're succeeding, not just in outcomes, but also they're advancing um, their careers. 
And uh, we at Relate to, we've been also very fortunate, uh, we're being earmarked as a leader in multiple categories of products. So I think that's part of that holistic vision where we are transforming all content from the content that designers work on to marketers, to sellers. Uh, we are a leader, for example, at a site called G2, which combines a lot of uh, reviews of actual users was, was market momentum. We are a leader at any point in nine to 10 product categories for this, for this you know, content value chain. So for people that are deep in the content, I think we are, we are as deep as it gets. And I personally have looked at more PDFs and presentations than probably any human being on earth. So in trying to think through how we can transform them. So if you, if this is something that you have like important high stakes communication, um, you know, we are, we can apply our expertise, that of our customers and that, you know, what we've learned from the industry um, leaders as well. And, uh, you know, share that with you. All right. To our friend that's been listening to our conversation, here are your next steps. If you know of anyone that deserves to be celebrated or recognized on this podcast, just send them to relay2.com. And that's R E L A Y T O.com. Uh, also, you're listening to this likely in a podcast player. Hit subscribe right now. And the reason why is you're going to learn from the best of the best what they know about what engagement means today, like how to truly engage in a way uh, that, uh, you know, you might just be losing a lot of business. Um, learn from other people that have already made major investments to figure this out. And, you know, they got the right tools, the right technology uh, in place as well. Uh, and so subscribe. Listen to every single episode and the transformation uh, after you've been through a bunch of episodes, probably going to be pretty significant to uh, getting actionable advice for your own business as well. So Alex, it's been a great conversation. Congratulations on the uh, this this episode. And, and now I'm so excited to, to hear the actual interviews and conversations with your guests. Thanks, Josh.